Welcome to our trading section. Now, on the left and right here, we've got two candles. If you go into any exchange and have a look at the markets, you are going to see this type of thing. The green candle here is what we call a bullish candle. If you hear bullish, it means price is going up. The red candle is a bearish candle. Bulls and bears are the opposite. If you're bullish, you think the price is going up or the price is going up. If you're bearish, you feel that the price is going down or the price has gone down. So on the bullish candle, we've got an open. This is the opening price when this candle started to print. You can have different time frames on a candle. So we can have a 15 minute candle hour candle, four hour candle, weekly or monthly. The open is the price that the asset was at when this candle started to print. So go into any of your exchanges and go onto the markets. Let's talk about Bitcoin. We're currently looking at about a $67,000 Bitcoin price. On an open, we would be looking at what the price is, if this is 67,000, the close would be higher. These tiny tails, top and bottom, are where the price went to during that time frame candle. So let's just imagine that this was an hourly candle and it opened at $67,000, just for an example. The maximum price it reached during that might have been $69,000 and the lowest might have been 66,900. But it actually closed up here. So these are the highs and lows that that hourly price action showed. And this is also the same on the bearish candle. So let's imagine that this was a one hour candle. We finished Bitcoin at a close of, for example, $69,000. The next hourly candle opens at that $69,000. And what we might have seen is a pump up to 69,500. But then the bears took control and they brought the price right down to a low of, for example, $67,000. The bulls then bought up to a close of, let's say, 67,500. So when you're looking to do any type of trading, we're looking for green and red candles. Now, the most basic and simplest way of trading is do not buy on green days, green hours or green weeks. If, you, if you're a long-term trader, we buy on red days guess what we do here we sell now i'm not selling anything i think we're in a super cycle so i'm buying crypto and i'm holding but let's say that you've got a thousand dollars to throw into any kind of coin whether it's bitcoin ethereum or an altcoin have a look at the charts and if we can see a massive green candle just hold on because my experience over the last five years is there are a lot less of these green candles then there are red candles. So if we're here and your friends are telling you, go and buy Shiba Inu because it's pumped 60%, just hold on because this is going to happen at some point in the near future. Buy in here because I guarantee you, you put your thousand pounds in here, next two days we're down here. You look at your portfolio and you're thinking, fuck, I've only got $900 now or 900 quid. Wait for the green candles, be patient because a red candle will follow. Now, in my experience, there are less green candles, but the green candles are much bigger. Wait for a red candle. This is the lowest point that it was at. This is the highest point that it was at. An open is the price that that candle started at, whether it's a one hour, 15 minute, four hour, weekly, that was the close. So if we were talking about bullish price action, Let's say that we've just had a close above an all-time high. So Bitcoin's currently at $67,000.
When I see a closed candle on a larger time frame, let's say a four hour or a daily above the all time high, that's when I'm bullish and I might long. Equally, if I see a closed candle below a certain threshold, that's when I might be bullish and I might be looking at the price action to come down. But this is basic candlesticks. Green is price up, red is price down, the open is the starting price, the close is where that candle finished, opened here, finished here. Basics, but learn candles. We're going to talk about formations of candles and pattern breakouts in future videos, but start to get yourself understanding the differences between green and red days. Human emotion is the worst thing that you can have when trading. Because when it's a green day, everybody's trying to buy. When it's a red day, everybody's trying to sell. It sounds simple. Sell on a green day, buy on a red day. Most people do the reverse, and that's how you lose money.